Hi guys, Bill Dusty here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect a pair of inexpensive VR goggles to your Phantom 3 standard. Stay tuned. <music> Okay, now first of all, I want to point out a couple of disclosures here for people who are not very familiar with FPV and what the whole scene is about using goggles. Uh, a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, first of all, this is using this is going to be using the Wi-Fi signal from your phone, your phone app, uh, to the goggles uh, in order to see your FPV. That is not really the preferred way. Of doing FPV via goggles. Ideally what you want to have is a, uh, uh, a pair of uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, goggles like these here. This is an, inexp uh, an inexpensive uh, model uh, Red Paws that I picked up. Uh, this pair was about $80 and that's about the least expensive you can get for 5.8 gigahertz. There may be some cheaper ones but uh, this is that's how much this cost me. And if you wanted to get a pair of, say, uh, uh, Fat Sharks or Amways, those go about $500. So uh, it can give it a little pricey uh, using uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, goggles for your FPV experience. However, that being said, 5.8 gigahertz is the way to go. It's much clearer, the connection's stronger, you get uh, more range, uh, you don't get a, uh, that lag issue that you have with Wi-Fi. Uh, so if you can't afford it and you really want to get into FPV, I would suggest that you go with 5.8 uh, gigahertz, either these box style goggles or the Fat Sharks or Omwaves. Uh, now, that being said, if you can't afford it or if you're just experimenting and you're not really sure if you want to get into FPV or not and you don't want to spend a bundle of money because really you're not just buying the goggles which can go upwards of $500. You also have to buy the quadcopter that is 5.8 gigahertz. You can't use one of these, uh, not a standard anyway. Uh, and a, most of the Wi-Fi FPV quads that a lot of hobbyists purchase in the store online for under $100, you can't use those with 5.8 gigahertz. You have to buy a dedicated quad that has 5.8 gigahertz. So, that, so you're spending $500 and you're buying uh, you know another quad just for this experience so if you're really just breaking into the hobby this could be an alternative for you and if you know say you happen to have uh happen to have a uh, a phantom three standard laying around i don't know uh but if you just happen to have something like this and you want to check out fpv and you want to figure out how to do it without spending a bundle of money this could be an option for you so there's that and the other thing I wanted to point out is this uh, solution that I have for you works as of January 2018. Now, uh, apps are always being updated. DJI updates their app quite a bit. So this solution that I'm showing you here may not work, you know, a few months from now or a couple of years from now. But as of today, uh, uh, it's January 13th, 2018, this does work, what I'm going to show you. Okay, and there's also a, a little cautionary note that I want to uh, demonstrate to you a little later on, but uh, we'll talk about that when the time comes. But uh, for now, I'm going to show you how to hook this thing up, hook up your uh, Phantom 3 standard so that you can use Wi-Fi FPV goggles. And uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to demonstrate through using this thing for the rest of this video because I'm using my phone to take the video and uh, I can't obviously demonstrate it to you and do the video with the phone at the same time. So we'll do the rest of this video uh, through my, uh, my little GoPro session here. So with that, we'll get started. We'll go from this thing to this view. Okay, now uh, first let's go over what you're going to need to fly this thing. Okay, of course you're going to need your uh, VR goggles here. Uh, they're used for gaming and such, and uh, also the Wi-Fi uh, quads that you see in the stores and such. Uh, pick these up online at, for about 20 bucks, so $20 expense right there. 
And then uh, the next thing you're going to need is an app called, put it up here, an app called Teleport. Okay, and that's what it looks like, a little guy right there on the goggles there. And you'll need that for your FPV experience. I've gone ahead and got the Phantom 3 fired up. I've got it connected to Wi-Fi. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Uh, what we're going to do here now, I want to I want to first make a note here. If this does not work when you initially go into the Teleport app, try to go into the uh, DJI Go app first and start your motors that way. Uh, I, I believe I, try, I tried this a couple months ago and I actually had to do that. But now recently I haven't had to do that. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it's identified the app as uh, you know maybe it's recognized the app as something uh, that can be used but if in your case uh, this doesn't work then go ahead and start the GGI Go app start the motors running on your uh, your Phantom and then fire up the teleport app and that should do the trick for you okay and we're gonna go right here and here you're gonna see uh, a bunch of these uh, selectors right here, a menu right here. The first thing we saw when we came on was this thing. Uh, it's the, your safety precaution and all that. You just tap and you go through that. That's that one right there. The instructions right here are basically telling you when you tilt your head or turn your head, the, the quadcopter and the camera on it is actually going to turn as well. And it does work. It does do that. So, uh, uh, and then the other thing we have here is the knock. You knock on it. There are three modes, camera modes for this thing, uh, for tilting the camera and, uh, and such. Uh, so you knock on your, on your goggles in order to switch the modes there. And here you can see we got takeoff, return, and teleport. Uh, we're not going to do takeoff or return in my house. Uh, but what we will do is go to teleport. And there you have the uh, goggles. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my uh, my phone's uh, recorder there so we can get better view here. So here we are. Uh, we're in safety mode now, and we turn up. And there were, there's the camera up. And if I tap on the phone, which if we were in the goggles, we you just tap on the out, the exterior of the goggles. Tap on it a couple times, takes it down to elevation mode. And then uh, tap it again a couple times and it goes down to flight mode. Now I've tended to notice that in flight mode it stays pretty, uh, the, the, uh, the camera just stays level. And then in safety mode it moves as you move. In elevation mode, uh, it seems like it's fairly... I'm, I'm actually moving the phone right now and it's not doing anything. Uh, so I think in elevation mode, it stays just the way it is. Flight mode, it looks like it tilts down a little bit or stays a little even. It's kind of hard to tell from my tabletop here, but it looks like it's about even, the camera. And it's pretty much locked in position. And then when you go to safety mode again, you can see that it's just, it moves as you move uh, the phone. Up top on the screen, you can see the per the battery percentage. Uh, you see the GPS, and you see the controller right now. The the uh, the reception that you're getting from the controller, and uh, that's well, that's your view right there. And actually, if you're wearing the goggles, obviously you're not going to see the two screens that you guys are seeing now. You're going to see that solid. Uh, screen and uh, I'll see if I can demonstrate that for you as well let's go ahead and do that okay I'm not sure if you can make that out but it does go to one screen okay and I can tell you the view is actually pretty good it's not too bad now obviously we don't have a lot of lag going on in here uh, because we're, you know, I'm, in, I'm indoors, I'm hooked, my Wi-Fi router's right there, and everything's all, you know, hunky-dory, but 
if you're outside and you're in a, a neighborhood or something, or even if you're in a park or something, you are dealing with Wi-Fi, so there is going to be some lag with this, uh, and your range will be limited. Uh, but it does work. It does function. So there's something for you. Go ahead and take this out. And uh, that is basically it. Okay, it's very straightforward. It's very simple to operate. Uh, I do want to point something out though. We're going to go ahead and start the motors up on this. The motors are on. The motors are on there. Uh, it's running. And I noticed as I was taking this off or turning this off. Hear that? The motors on the Phantom start revving. And I just, uh, I just shut them down. So I think it's very important for you if you're going to do this. Please make sure you turn off the Phantom first uh, before you turn off the app. That's a very important order of operation here when you're done uh, playing around with this. Make sure you turn off or turn off the motors on the Phantom first and then turn off the teleport app. Okay, and that's about it for this. Uh, it's a pretty quick demonstration. This uh, app is pretty straightforward. Uh, again, it's just the teleport app, uh, a pair of VR goggles, your Phantom 3 standard and controller. Again, if the teleport app doesn't work and, and your Phantom doesn't turn on, you know, fire up the motors, go ahead and fire up the uh, DJI Go app and they need some kind of permissions thing, I don't know. But in any event, it will work uh, one way or the other. And then the one cautionary note again is please turn off the motors on the Phantom 3 before you turn off the Teleport app. Uh, and that's it for now. That's it for this demonstration. And stay tuned for more videos on this channel.